All right, so let's talk about the absolute best type of protein that you can eat. Well, it's the egg, and we're going to talk about why. I mean, even some of the pharmaceutical companies right now are looking at ways of extracting certain proteins from eggs and using them in pharmaceuticals because of the wide spectrum of benefits. They isolated over 1,500 different unique proteins in eggs. And these proteins have a wide variety of functions, including support of your immune system, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. There's a whole list of benefits. So let's dive right in. So what is an egg? Well, you have the yellow part of an egg, which is the yolk, and you have the white part of the egg. And collectively, we call that the egg, even though the egg is really the yolk. The white part of the egg is not the egg. It's the food for the actual egg, the yolk. And so what's so special about the egg? It's very different than other sources of protein. Uh, most other sources of protein are muscle tissue, okay? Well, an egg is an embryo. And the quality of nutrition in eggs is just off the charts. It has a higher quality of amino acids than any other protein out there except breast milk. And it has probably one of the most diverse uh, bands of nutrients, okay, of any of the proteins, as well as the bioavailability of nutrients. It has pretty much all of the fat soluble vitamins. It has virtually all water soluble vitamins as well, except vitamin C. So it's a quality source of protein. Of course, if you're not consuming conventional eggs, the best type of eggs you should get would be pasture raised organic eggs. Now, if you can actually raise your own chickens, get your own eggs, that would be the best thing. And that's what I'm doing. Or get eggs from the farmer's market. Because depending on the diet of the chicken, there is huge variances of nutrients. If the diet of the chicken is just right, you can get up to 20 times more vitamin E, up to five times as much vitamin D, up to 10 times the vitamin A. I'm talking about retinol, the bioactive form of vitamin A and even up to six times the selenium. Now, unfortunately in 1968, uh, the egg has gotten a bad rap due to this whole cholesterol issue. And then it took roughly about 50 years to repair that bad reputation because in 2015, finally, after all this time, they dropped this dietary cholesterol um, and egg restriction. We can now go back to eating eggs. Of course, after all this bad information about eggs has been ingrained in us for so many years. Now, there's two main viewpoints on cholesterol. Cholesterol itself in the diet increases the cholesterol in your blood, which then clogs your arteries. That's one theory. And the second theory is that the cholesterol builds up as a result of or a consequence of having inflammation or damage in the inside of the arteries, because cholesterol is part of the band-aid that heals the inside of the arteries. And based on a lot of quality research, the second theory is more probable. So let's go through some of the nitty gritty. Um, protein, okay, as far as protein goes, a lot of different sources of protein don't end up as body tissue protein. A good amount of that is wasted either as nitrogen waste or it is turned into glucose, but roughly about 49% of eggs is converted to body tissue, which is pretty much the highest uh, efficiency that you're gonna get from all the different types of protein, excluding breast milk. Now, as far as the nutrients go, the egg has every single fat soluble vitamin, vitamin A, D, E, K, vitamin K1 and vitamin K2, which is an amazing vitamin that helps you extract uh, calcium out of the soft tissues. So these fat soluble vitamins are essential in brain health, in hormone health, uh, in your eyes. And so most of the fat soluble vitamins are in the yolk part, but the yolk also contains all of your B vitamins, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, biotin, B12. And even the white part of the egg is uh, loaded with B vitamins as well. The yolk also contains some really uh, rich minerals, uh, a lot of trace minerals, as well as other minerals. Like it has magnesium, potassium, it has phosphorus, calcium, it has iodine, it has selenium, zinc, copper. So it's a really good source of minerals. Eggs are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory. The egg yolk is a really good source of choline. Choline 
is the antidote to cholesterol. It helps break down cholesterol. It helps the brain work. It helps all the neurotransmitters. Out of all the foods, liver is the highest in choline. Egg yolk is the second. Now, if I was gonna ask you, what has more protein, the egg white or the yolk? You probably say the egg white, right? Well, actually that's not true. The egg yolk has 15% protein and the egg white only has 11% protein, which is actually quite interesting because you have people that think they're getting more protein from the egg whites when they're not. All right, what else does the egg yolk have? The egg yolk has carotenoids. What are carotenoids? Well, carotenoids are, are compounds that give you additional health benefits like lutein and zeaxanthin, which both are crucial for preventing macular degeneration and supporting the eye, especially if you're a diabetic. They are now finding that eggs have a wide range of antimicrobial properties, especially for your gut. Eggs are a great source of antioxidants. Eggs have certain proteins that are anti-inflammatory. And like I said before, eggs have properties that help counter cancer and tumors. Eggs also have immunoregulatory properties that support things like IBS, colitis, other inflammatory conditions of the gut. And if you think about it, colostrum is in milk and that supports the immune system of a growing calf. And also if it's breast milk of a growing baby, well, eggs also has its own colostrum for a growing chick. And so there is a type of colostrum in egg that can actually benefit your immune system as well. There's even some interesting proteins in eggs that help lower your blood pressure. So how many eggs should you consume in a day? Well, it really depends on your size and your desire for eating eggs. I consume roughly at least four, sometimes eight eggs every single day. And because sometimes I'll have eggs as my first meal, as well as my second meal, simply because we have access to a very high quality egg source because we actually have our own chickens. And uh, those chickens are producing a lot of eggs. We're getting like probably 15 to 16 eggs every single day. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with these eggs. But if you have any hesitation about eggs, thinking that it's bad for your cholesterol, um, I created this video for you to watch right here. Check it out.